Hi, I'm Father Jonathan Meyer, and you are making a choice to be alive in your faith. As we prepare for the upcoming Sunday, the 27th Sunday of Ordinary Time, Year A, we're going to take some moments to reflect, to pray, and to truly be ready to hear these words. Our gospel passage this upcoming Sunday is Matthew 21, 33 through 43. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, Hear another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard and put a hedge around it and dug a wine press and built a tower. Then he leased it to tenants and went on a journey. When the vintage time drew near, he sent his servants to the tenants to obtain the produce. But the tenants seized the servants, one they beat, another they killed, and a third they stoned. Again, he sent other servants more numerous than the first ones, but they treated him in the same way. Finally, he sent his son, thinking, they'll respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to one another, this is the heir. Come, let us kill him and inquire of the inheritance. They seized him, threw it out of the vineyard, and killed him. What will the owners of the vineyard do to those tenants when he comes? They answered him, he will put those wretched men to a wretched death and lease his vineyard to other tenants who will give them the produce at the proper times. Jesus said to them, Did you never read the scriptures? The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. And it's wonderful in our eyes. Therefore I say to you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that will produce its fruit. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Matthew chapter 21, 33 through 43 I think invites us to ponder many things. One of the things I want to focus on specifically is the whole issue of the fact that this good man plants this garden, takes care of it, and he gives it to someone else. And then those people want to possess it. They want to take it away. They, they, they want it for themselves. How often do we want things that aren't ours? We want so often to be someone else. We want someone else's job, their house, their status, their popularity, their looks, their body. We want often so badly to take from someone else. Everything in our life is a gift. Everything. Everything in life is really being given to us by the Father. And it's not ours to possess. How often we want to grasp and possess. And we're called to realize that everything in our life truly is a gift. And we're just using it for the kingdom. I want you to think about that this week. What do you desire in your life? What are the desires you have for your life? Do you recognize that those themselves are gifts? How often we try to possess too much and realize that it's not ours to possess. It's ours to give. And that even the things that we see that others have, or that we want, that those themselves, those are gifts that those were given for God's praise and for God's glory. If you visit us at all things, all saints .net, all saints .net, you'll find discussion questions. Hopefully you've formed a small group. That small group might be your husband, your wife. It might be your children. It might be the next door neighbor. It might be some friends from church. It might be a friend from work. Form a small group, and here's some discussion questions. Ready? Here we go. Matthew 21, 33 through 34. What's the basic message or story? What's the good news in this passage? Who is this story addressed to? And why is that important? Why is it important who this story is addressed to? How do we see things, possessions, and belongings in our own lives as ours when they really belong to God? Have you ever in your family experience division over inheritance money. How do we prevent this? 
Do you know someone who's been rejected by the in crowd, but then was accepted by a minority crowd? Who are people in our world that are hungry for the gospel and for the truth? The rich, the famous, or the poor and needy? Are you receptive to the gospel? Are you a good tenant of the Lord? Thanks for keeping your faith alive. Thanks for spending the time to prepare for Sunday. I hope that our reflections and our time together really do help you to be the saint that God is calling you to be. Visit us at allsaintscatholic.net for questions and for downloads to help you live Sunday like you never have before. Be a saint. Invite others to watch these videos and subscribe to our channel and allow yourself to be transformed by God's word. Peace and God bless you.